Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog, and so today I will be rebuilding my brake blue cylinders. So, it's kind of been a hard journey to get these cylinders right here. So, off of those three um, rounds right here, I have take off six of these and take out all the parts and clean up some of it just to find out that they're rusty or the pistons are scored up bad and... And this one wasn't too perfect either because we had to hone this out to get a straight, nice four. So, yeah, it's been kind of a journey. But the reason why I didn't just buy these new is because um, I just wanted to learn how all this stuff works because I think it'd be cool to most people just buy them new. But one thing I got to say is I would not buy any of these that are rebuilt considering how bad it, the, the these were on those because I'm sure the... People at the factory would just slap them together with those bad parts and, you know, it wouldn't be the best. Okay, so, to start off this, um, here's a diagram of how everything works. So, um, so to start it off, I gotta take in one of these seals right here. And you should dip everything in DO2-3 brake fluid. That way it's nice and lubricated. So I'm just going to dip it in the cap right here. And then after you dip that, that should be all ready. And then you should get some on your finger and get the bore ready. So that um, everything slides in there nice and it's not improperly lubricated. Okay, so now the bore should be ready to slide this cap in. So that's what I'm gonna do. So these caps are really tight in here, so you gotta make sure to get, you gotta start like in a corner and then you gotta kinda push it in, push the rest. It's kind of a hard process with these, but. And then I go until about the cap is flush with the end of this. And then next, um, you slide in the spring, if I can find it, here it is, okay so next you slide in the spring and you got to make sure that the spring seats inside of that um, seal that we just put in, so it's nice and seated in there now as you can see, so now what you're going to do next is take another one of those caps, And then soak it in DOT-3 brake fluid. And then you're going to slide it in here. Just like the other one. Until it's about flush with the end of this thing. Just like the other side. Okay, so that's about flush. Um... So next, you should soak these in with brake fluid and just get them all ready. And then you slide it in like so, make sure it's nice and straight. Slide it in until they're about flush like that too. And then um, you put on, you slide the seal over the top of this. Got to kind of flex it, make sure there's no rolls where you put the seal at. So then the seal has to wrap over the edge of the cylinder. like so, and then you should do the same to the other side, you grab your piston right here, soak it in, you gotta slide it in until it's about flush too, just like the other side, and you grab your other seal,
then you do the same as what you did to the other side. Make sure that there's no rolls in that. Then you gotta slide it over. That was a close call there. Yeah, this is pretty hard usually to get this slid over. So yeah, there's your rebuilt brake cylinder, and last but not least, you can't forget your bleeder screw. So yeah, now we have a fully functioning brake cylinder now, so it's rebuilt and looks very nice. Um, I just got done rebuilding the other one for the other side, so yeah, I... It was fun just to see how all this stuff works, but it was quite the journey just to get one good cylinder to rebuild. Um, also, if you guys ever end up rebuilding your own cylinders, just make sure that you clean all the parts nice and well, or else it won't go too well. And But um, make sure to hone out the bore too. But so, yeah, um, here's my freshly rebuilt brake cylinder and I hope you guys like this video so leave a like and subscribe and have a great day